Hi, this is James Pickles, Fast and Safety product owner. In this video, I'm going to explain how to quickly remove temperature errors on user-defined sources after upgrading to version 8.4. In the study that you can see, I have a pressure vessel with a user-defined source. This is in version 8.23, and this user-defined source has been set up in such a way that the temperature of the user-defined source is not consistent with the phase. And we can see in version 8.23, this reveals itself as a warning, which says the temperature you have specified is not valid for a liquid. Now you can still run these scenarios, um, but in this situation, because the temperature is not valid with the phase, um, then really the data that the user has entered isn't um, isn't correct and therefore potentially the consequence effects that you see from this model um, are not what the user expects. Now in version 8.4 we felt that we needed to upgrade this warning to an error message just to make it clearer uh, to the user that something potentially isn't right in the input data. So what you can see now is version 8.4. The same study has been upgraded to this version. And now you can see that there is an error message in the output log, which says that at least one temperature is not valid for this user-defined source. The temperature is minus 94 degrees C, but should be below minus 161 degrees for liquid phase. And then there's another message here that says automatic temperature adjustment can be altered on the workspace. I'll talk about that shortly. So the options for the user at this point are that they can either ignore this error message and the user will still be able to run this user-defined source. Um, alternatively, they might want to review the data and make some changes to ensure that the temperature is consistent with the phase. So the user can either change this phase to be a vapor from liquid in this example, so that then the temperature is consistent with that vapor phase, or the user can change the temperature manually so that it is consistent with the liquid phase. In other words, in this example, they would have to change the temperature so that it's below minus 161.48 degrees. Now that's fine if you have just one or two user-defined sources where you need to amend the data, that won't be too cumbersome for the user. <coughs> But what if after upgrading to version 8.4, you have a very large study with maybe a hundred user-defined sources where you see this error message. It would be very cumbersome for the user to have to open up each individual user-defined source and change either the phase and the temperature and to have to do that a hundred times. Now there is, a method available in version 8.4 that will allow you to have these temperatures adjusted automatically um, very quickly. And the way to do that is to make use of a new field that's on the workspace dialog. Just at the bottom of the calculations and messages tab, there is a new field here called temperature adjustment tolerance. By default, this is 0 0.1 degrees, and you can see it referenced in this output log. Now, what this means is that for any user-defined sources where the temperature that's been specified is within 0 0.1 degrees of the temperature that it should be in order to be compatible with the phase, then the software will automatically adjust the temperature um, on the, on this bit on the on the basis of of the phase and the, the temperature that it should be. Now, what this means is that um, you can adjust the temperature adjustment tolerance um, to a much larger value, so that the temperatures of 
many of your scenarios in your study will be automatically adjusted. We can see that for this user-defined source that we have in this model, the temperature is around 67 degrees higher than what it should be. Now, with this temperature adjustment tolerance of 0 0.1 degrees, that means that this temperature is not automatically adjusted by the software because it's around 67 degrees higher than what it should be. It's outside of the tolerance. But you can change the tolerance so that then the temperature of this user-defined source is within that tolerance and therefore the software will automatically adjust the temperature. Now, if you have, say, 100 user-defined sources in your model where you know that for all of those uh, uh, user-defined sources, the temperature is within, let's say, 90 degrees of, of what they should be, then you can set the tolerance to 100 degrees, something higher than 90 degrees, set it to 100 degrees, and then the software will automatically adjust the temperature for all of those scenarios where the temperature is within the tolerance. So you can use this field to your benefit to be able to quickly remove these errors from your model. So we'll do that with this user-defined source here. I've changed the tolerance to 70 degrees and the difference in the temperature and what it should be to, to be consistent with the phase is 67 degrees, which is within the tolerance. So if I click OK on this dialog now, we can see now that there is a warning which says that the temperature was not valid for this user-defined source and the temperature has been adjusted to slightly below the boiling point of minus 161.48 degrees. And then you can see here it says automatic temperature adjustment of 70 degrees C has been applied. This can be altered on the workspace. And if we open up the user-defined source, you can see now we still have the release phase, which is liquid, and the temperature has been automatically adjusted so that the temperature is consistent with the phase for this material in this vessel. So if you had 100 of these user-defined sources like this, you would find that those temperatures would have been adjusted for all of those 100 user-defined sources. So thank you for listening to this video. If you have any questions or would like to get in touch, please email digital at dmvgl.com.